Hello and welcome back everybody, AkonTL here. So, first official notice of 2022 is here. It is now the first. So, this month in Dragalia Lost. Yay, um, I did read this at midnight, so I definitely do want to talk about a couple things about this because uh, I was expecting them to go one way, but they did something else entirely. But we'll get to that bit. We'll get to that right now. So obviously, uh, feel free to subscribe for more content and be sure to like it just if you do enjoy it. And also check out the links in the description down below. Very much appreciate it. And tomorrow I will have a proper New Year's video. Tomorrow it will happen. Do not worry. So, so um, obviously, um, they do kind of do a little uh, recap of, of what happened in in uh, December. So obviously we had the uh, Classcape. I do have a video on the Classcape in order to help out beginners. Do feel free to check that out in case if you are struggling just a little bit. Um, Primal uh, Midgar, I did clear solo. Um, co-op, I've not cleared yet. I do, I do have a video in the backlog about attempting co-op. Um, that should be happening shortly. And also we have, a, we also have a, the brand new, uh, raid event, which is, which is a really good raid event. And also be sure to pick up, uh, the one prints. All these one prints are good, right? All these one prints are really good, especially the one for Eldwater. It's actually a broken damn one print. Make sure you pick that one up. But then, but then, but then we also have, a ha have, a, the current banner being Shingen, uh, uh Yuki Mora and, and, uh, Fudo Mio. All great, all great units, all really damn worth of the pickup, but but both have free multis going on right now, so using the free multis. That's why I'm not summoned yet, because honestly, I would only go for her. Base salt. Based off of the Zodiacs alone, I don't care too much about these two, personally, so whatever for me. So now we're going to move into what is coming for this month. As we know, Iblis. Water and Iblis Shadow are getting Trials of the Mighty, featuring Catherine and Sazanka Spirals, which, which, which I'm definitely uh, going to uh, look forward to. Uh, Catherine should be revealed within within the next few days, so definitely going to be looking forward to that one. This other there, right there. Uh, we also have Fortune's Fray Coliseum event. It will be returning, which is which is which was really really good. All right. This was this was a great great event be because it because it was it actually had difficulty, but now with everything because now with everything upgraded and stuff like that, who knows how easy this is actually going to be now. But I do remember at the time, it was challenging. I remember Pipple being a run killer, fucking Pipple, man, fucking Pipple. But definite, but but I never read the story, so I'll definitely give this one a read because I just forgot to read it. Really looking forward to this one. We're also going to have uh, part two of chapter 23 releasing on the 18th. They actually uh, date dropped it, so that's actually uh, nice. Um, um, and and we'll and we obviously know based off of the trailer, a mile is going to come in. So, so, so this coming month it is going to be Gala a mile. It will be Gala a mile coming for. January Gala. Just just be prepared for that, all right? They're going to do it. I just know they're going to do it. And we also have a collab rerun being Princess Connect Redive. Hey. I... My English is bad, all right? All right, I'm just going to say uh, Princess Connect Redive collab event is being rerun. It'll be rerun on the 21st. Um, it... It will definitely not be a rerun banner because Pecarine is going to be general pool. It's probably going to be like what light focus or probably something like that. It's it's going to be something that will be skippable. I know that for a fact. So, but regardless, we will be getting this is going this is probably going to be the collab for this year. So bright side, it's an easy save, a very very easy save, and also and also a. Uh, uh, you guys will be able to acquire Forger Cleo. I believe this this is when the free mana 50s were a thing, so so you should be able to get Forger Cleo up to mana 50 pretty easily, which is nice as always. But no, this was a nice event, gave a good chunk of rewards, so yeah, this is going to be good. 
this is gonna be good and, and we also have have some stuff um for the end of january we'll be having legend difficulty for asura's blinding light all right that will be the end of january and do remember um we will be switching types with asura or we'll be starting with fire and we will be ending with dark so do keep that in mind uh begin to prepare your fire and darks just if uh, just if you do care about uh, the legend difficulty fights because this is this is probably going to be ramped up quite a few difficulties because of how easy Asura was because how much of a hp sponge he was and i'm saying he it's probably a she listen i i, I literally walked out of bed like half an hour ago all right i apologize <laughs> but but regardless they're they're going to be a lot more difficult so just bear that in mind and and you don't need to clear legend in one day you don't need to so don't stress over it don't stress over legend but then also uh, they actually name dropped the next uh five star unbinds being prometheus uh smiggered freya uh gongzu and azazel like what they're actually giving the HP skill haste dragons a fifth unbind. I never thought I would see that. I never thought I'd see that because they're already really good as is, and the fact that they're giving even more is like what? So yeah, these are gonna be cracked. Definitely make sure whenever as as uh, do uh, come back around, you form up these three specifically. These are all really good. Very, very good. So just make sure that that happens. Uh, future updates. Um, um, certain onslaught and defensive events will be added to the event compendium in an update in late January. So, so more likely it will be a part of the version update. Cool. Uh, we'll continue to add onslaught, defense, and costume events to the event compendium as time goes on. Okay, but what about raid events? What about the raids? Yo, it's more raid events in there. People, people want free stuff. People want free units. Come on, do it. Uh, but, the, but, the, but then the new events that will be coming uh, this month as well. An event featuring the Alberian royal family will be held in late January. Uh, some of the prince's older siblings who, who, who have shed away from the spotlight in events thus far may finally have their chance to shine. So immediately, people say, people say. Leonidas and, and don't get me wrong I can see Leonidas but also Valix all right Valix has been a massive massive side character all right that, that's all he has been he doesn't even have a unit yet that Valix has been the definition of a plot device so far so so maybe we can finally see Valix be used but shell has also been just a side character too she's she, she's just been translating everything pretty much that's what that's what Shell has been, right? Uh, she's been the dummy down meter. That's what Shell has been. So maybe Shell can also get a little bit more of something. Maybe, big maybe. But but who am I to ask questions? I'm typically wrong about most things, so oh well. And and also for those who for, the, for those hungry for more high difficulty content. Legend difficulty for Iblis Surging Cascade will be added in Febu in late February, and Primal Brunhilde's Trial will be added in late March. So, so this means that there is only a three-month gap between Midgar and the next one. All right. So, bright side, you have plenty of time to work up Primal weapons. You have plenty of time. So, so this way you can't clear them yet. Take your time investing. You have, you got time now, all right? You have time before the next, okay, you need to farm this actually releases. You have time. That is very, very good. Um, And the Palace Brunhilda, it's interesting because they had model dropped, or no, portrait dropped, apologies. They portrait dropped Mercury. So we assume that Mercury would be next and they would actually go in kind of element order here. Where it's like, okay, well, wind weapons, uh, they're going to be good against Mercury. Then you can use those to farm water. Then those to farm Brunhilda. That's what we assumed. 
but obviously it seems like they will be going in in high dragon order so that obviously being Midgar, Brunhilde, Mercury, Jupiter, then Zodiac. That appears to be the order they're going to go in. I'm not complaining, but but start to prepare water now. All right. You have like three months, two to three months to do so. You have time. But but then also um, Iblis, um, it will start as light, then go into wind. So it's going to be interesting. That was going to be interesting. And bright side for Iblis, we will have available to us primal weapons. So that wind portion should not be too much of an issue. Really, really nice stuff. Really excited for that. And, and obviously in conclusion, they just give us 100 million rupees and they give us three single batteries. Nice. Nice. Uh, uh, the 100 million rupees people are going to be excited for. I now have 1.5 billion thanks to um, a sweeping retrospective, so I don't need this, but I still need like like um, 500 million more. So you know what? This is still good for me. This is still really, really good. And that is going to be it for this video. So do let me know what you are most excited for this month or even going into March. All right. Because 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 I did drop a lot of things. Um, most of this does seem to be like, hey, 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 we'll be adding this stuff, not not features, just adding content. That seems like what they're going to do. And this is like a mini roadmap for you guys as well. So bright side, now we know what to prepare for. And it sounds like it's about every it's about every element. They're literally dropping any content for every element in the next three months. So yeah, just work on everything. But however, for farming, obviously you would want Brunhilde rather than the legend content. So this will definitely make a priority for water for this upcoming month. And it does sound like we will be fine on 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 like events for for quite a bit of time. I need to really just clean out the event compendium. That's what I need to do. So hey, I'm going to do that eventually. Maybe I'll stream it. Maybe I'll stream me cleaning out the event compendium eventually. So, hey, could potentially give you a reason to just follow me on Twitch. I've been trying to make a bigger effort there. 2022, baby. <laughs> and and yeah, um, I, I think I'm done talking. Uh, just uh, just one last note. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I will be posting a New Year's video. So that is going to be very, very nice. Um, it's it's going to be heartfelt. I have not I have not recorded it yet, but but it will be heartfelt, so, so 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 definitely be sure to check that out because I will be saying my plans for 2022 as well, as well as some goals I have in mind for the new year in general. And I guess until next time, I'll see you all tomorrow. See ya.